built. Everything's great. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No worries here. It's all good. Fully from Techno Toy Tuning, that's TechnoToyTuning.com, and we're gonna put that on. But uh, uh, you know, we got to take a uh, pulley off first. It's all in the name of making it not squeal anymore, because it squeals like a stuck pig. And there's a chicken foot we got to pull the puller. All right, huh. that weighs about three pounds. This weighs about nothing. By comparison, I'd say there might be a little bit of uh, rotational mass savings if I switch into this one. This one also smashed the hell out of my thumb, so. I'll tell you what, the pulley came off a whole lot easier than we thought it would. You already saw that, put the new pulley on. Got the new belt on, won't squeal anymore. So I guess we get to tighten up the belt some more. We got the young blood on the ground doing the, on the ground work, because I'm an old man. And what you want to do is get your neck right under that brake rotor. Or at least the arm, you know, take the arm out there. Yeah. All right, tighten the bottom. Wait. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Oh, Everybody looks hunky-dory. It looks better than it ever has, but it's loose. Is it loose though? I, I guess. Know. I guess it is. Bay outside, coming down. She's down. She's down. She down. All right, we got an interesting problem. The belt's not a problem anymore, but uh, we got uh, no no coolant. Remember that whole video I did where I replaced all the coolant and I flushed it and whatnot? Well, there's none in there now. I wondered why it didn't take as much as what was specified. But I've I've walked by this thing a million times since I parked it here, and I haven't seen a lack of coolant in it. It's the loudest sound in the world. Right there. Just keep her going. All right. Taking his jack for a walk. I haven't noticed coolant on the ground, so I don't know what's up with that. But, uh... Feller has his own YouTube channel. He's got to be all over mine. Why is that? And that's slinging tires and lures 24-7. Is that yeah. what it is? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's fishing. And tracks his cars. And and tracks his cars, cars and, and uh, you know, whatever he wants. Probably probably better than what you're watching here. We're going to run it long enough to get it up on the trailer. Uh, we might drive it for a second, but I don't, I don't know that I actually want to drive it too far right at the moment. Because, uh... Anyway. Okay, uh, this thing took, um this much and uh, down to here of those I don't know what the hell's going on it was fine as far as we know it hasn't leaked any out but the the overflow was completely empty so now it's bubbling and bleeding out I don't know what's going on but um, we're still gonna send it I don't think it's leaking maybe when it cooled down it then let the rest of the coolant flow to somewhere else you, you know, put it down in the comments. If you know about MR2s and their mysterious coolant system, let me know. Hudson's about to go NASCAR and ruin my lug nuts. Go for it. You're fired. That's pretty yeah. funny. I hope this is not your application. It is. You ain't even got another wheel. Brick, where, where? No, that's a gun. <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna fall down. Easy now. Hurry. Gonna give himself heat stroke. This is why you have children, folks. Make them work on your pit crew. I mean, if you trust them. He called us a pit crew. Holy mackerel. Oh yeah. Load it up. Ready to rumble. I'll go clean out the cooler, and uh, that'll be the last thing for the night before we get ready for tomorrow. I might get chairs, too. Chairs are good. 
Well, we're headed to go racing, and uh, that's what's what's coming for us. And there's more back behind us. It's uh, gonna be uh, uh, wet. That's wet. It's gonna be wet. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you. Look at this. Look at this madness. It's all coming our way. Time to put on a raincoat. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a while before we race. They're still setting up course way out there. You probably can't even see them. Way out there where the more Salvador Dali painting is going on, or uh, Van Gogh. Look at it over there. Looks beautiful. It's like the land of good and plenty. Oh, yeah, that's candy. That's a little swirly do. There's a lot of little swirly do's going on at the moment. What we don't want is lightning. We got rain gear. We can deal with that. We don't. We can't. We don't have lightning gear. All right. Here's our grid for our heat: BMW, FRS, Miata, MR2, and what's that? Sick Mustang. This is gonna be awesome. Can't wait. Do a few parade laps. We'll be out the door. Going out for parade laps. This Mustang sounds awesome. 302. He said. Oh yeah. Sounds real good. Hell yeah. You almost need a co-driver every time just to keep the door open. Yeah. It's a hawk. Can we drink the Mustang for this? What's that? Grabber? Oh, water. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. Hey, this is a fun transition. Yeah. Scrape the bottom off the car there. A lot of people hit comes there. Yeah. Yes. Oh, coming up and over, you're kind of jumping a little bit, getting yeah. light off the suspension, so you got to stay tight. Yeah, that's what I told you. You got a big pack over here. Luckily, we're going second, so the tires might not get too chewed up, you know? Because a lot of the gravel's been kicked off. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. Why did the sun have to come out for us? All right, Miles' is first run, run number one. Miles ran a 60, which is about on par with everybody from the first heat. God dang, where's the front of this car? It's tiny. Just fall into it, is that what you're saying? Alright. She just goes sideways from the start. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, man! Whoa! What a riot! First gear. How we doing? Good oil pressure, good temp. We're fine. What do you think about first gear instead of second? Uh, I think it just spun a lot, but it, I mean, it felt like I was, it, uh-oh. Did I kill it at some point? I don't know. 56.4, all right, I'll take that. Yeah, first gear. Okay. Try it. I mean, it's, you're going to punch it and it's going to punch. Grab it first. It rotates a bit. Damn, if it doesn't eat, though. Jesus, it eats. Yeah. All right. Glad we don't have to drive this thing home. 57. Is that yeah. That's good. 57. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's rolling something. I like gravel. Gravel's fun. Good to go. Uh, are we leaking? Could be coolant. Is it pouring out? It's been coming out of the pet cock. The O-ring is uh, jacked. So, all right, here we go. Shut your door. Yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, keep going. Woo! Whoa! How do you think about that? That was amazing. She's real good, man. Real, real good. But we're probably leaking coolant. I keep seeing people on the radio is what we're going around. You think they're talking about me? Is it leaking a lot? From where?
Mustang is going to spit fire at me. I don't want to break this windshield. Yeah. It's too nice. There we go. Car just wants to drive its own direction going off the line. That was slow, but I did make it around the corner. something. Let's see what it rang. Is that a 54? Did I do a fucking 54? Oh yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! 54! Woo! That is faster than any of the cars from the morning group. Thank you. Yeah, don't buy a thirty thousand dollars side by side. Just cut up something small and you know send it. Because there's honestly there's nothing here that a Miata couldn't handle on these gravel trails. So yeah, you can you can you can have fun in whatever you got for sure. Just like a rally cross. Here we are, time and trailer. There he is. The uh, car once again overheating. We think it's getting air in the system, and that's just uh, making the coolant boil. But the temperature gauge never moves from the middle, right in the middle. So our plan for the afternoon is to uh, wait until the last second, fill it with coolant, and then send it again. And if all else fails, he gets to run. And I'll sit out because he gave me the runs last time so I could win. So he could win this time. Right now, he's 10 seconds, 9 seconds, 8 seconds, something like that, off of my pace. I'm in first modified rear. He's in second. And then we got Niles in third and Mustang in fourth and fifth. So... Um, we're doing pretty good. He's still holding it back there. One cone on 726. Plus one, 726 MF. Thank you. So I'll give you a little glimpse of what it's like working the timing trailer. It's extremely exciting. There's action happening out there. You can't see it. Cars driving around the dirt. Dirt going everywhere. Go ahead. Two on the blank I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot the numbers. Plus two seventy four SA. Thank you. Three. Go ahead. One cone on. 
Uh, the, was that the Subaru? I'm sorry, one cone on what, what car again? More black BMW. Well, okay, so we got two cones total on 74 SA. Corner one, the control. Go ahead. One on the black Subaru. Roger that, plus one, 13 PA. Control, this is two. Go ahead, two. One on 13 PA. Total of two so far on 13 PA. I wouldn't count him out. I'm kidding. He's got one more in him. I bet he's got one more in him. They're busy out there this time. Busier than they were previously. Mm, put it in the door. Okay. If you can close the door. Nope. <laughs> Use the force. Oh boy, that belt. Everything's great. It's all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. No worries here. It's all good. Floor it. Well, that was just pretty. Yeah. Ain't no two bones about it. That was real nice. What's up with this? I don't want another run. It's your rerun. There's a cone down. Cone down. I don't really want a rerun, but I gotta take one. Here we go. can to keep it cool. So Miles is going to man the deck lid back there. When I pull off, he'll close it up. You know, every little bit counts. Oh boy, Mustang is way out of shape over there. He tends to get a little out of shape. Good? More? Whatever. Oh, sweet relief. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't think that was faster, but it was fun. It's a 49.9, though, and I probably didn't hit anything. Did I hit cones? Didn't I do that last time? Yeah. Okay. You just saying you did a really good job. Yeah, thank you.
that's mine. I did 49. You did a 49. Let's go. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real quick. That's real quick. That might be FTD. I was yelling at the camera. Boy, I'm glad we filmed that last lap. 49-3 out of the kit. I was so excited I forgot I needed to go drive. 49-3. Miles did last run. Yeah, you did. 49-3. But then last time you took off. My brake was on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because you, you had one tire fire taken off. Yeah, until I got up to there. I was like, oh, I might want to turn the brake. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Just letting that wheel go and hammering the gas at the end. That's so great. It doesn't want to stay lit because it's real, real hot. Or it's got all that air in the system. You know, funny running issues, I guess, with MR2s. 49.4. Dang it! That much! That close! Oh! So close! One tenth! One freaking tenth! Boy, I can't, I can't imagine what your run was like if that's what my... Because that was such a... It was such an awesome run. We'll let Mr. Fastest Time of the Day here do the honors of emptying the dirt air separator. One. Dump it right on him. <laughs> I'm off for day two of this two day competition, and I've already forgotten my soda. Okay. <coughs> That's the sound. That's the flavor. Now we're off for day two of this two-day Kansas City Rallycross event. Tried to overheat the MR2 once again and figured out how to keep it going without breaking. We're winning a victory because the MR2 is just fantastic to drive. Um, and with the Eurocross tires on it and the gravel, I'm destroying the tires, but I got lots of grip. That's how I won yesterday, but my reward for winning yesterday is that I get to go back today and keep winning. Otherwise, I don't win. Because it's a two-day event, and as such, your times are cumulative over both days. So if I don't show up today, I get DNFs for every run today, and then I don't win. Um, oh, shh. I have, if I'm lucky, I have a, I have a, uh, radiator cap sitting on the porch where, uh, where I just left. All right, I'm going to go pick up my thermostat. It's not a thermostat, for fuck's sake. It's a radiator cap. I'm going to pick up this cap. I'm going to get back on the road, get to the venue, do some racing. Here, I swapped the tires from the front to the back. These were on the front. These were on the back. Degradation-wise, they look the same, except for the fact that this has less knob on it than what the rears do now. So, it's not really about grip, it's just about even tire wear at this point. I'm out and away for the parade lap for day two of KC RX event number three. We're doing seven runs in the morning and then we're calling it quits. I think we're good on coolant at the moment. We're gonna try to keep it moving. I've got two two driver cars in front of me. It means that they're gonna be taking time to swap. I gotta pay attention to this course. I only get one look at it. We've got some differences here in the back section, which is gonna be nice because uh, it was very tight yesterday and now it's very open. Much easier. And then you can make a big, big finish be real good. I think I'm not going to get lost. I can't get lost. Niles is 20 seconds back. That's two missed gates. We're going to make sure that we run clean more than fast because I don't need to go fast to beat him today. So clean is what I need. And I'm just going to turn the car off and we'll just chill right here. I mean, I'm not going to sit here. It's blazing hot. I'm mostly strapped in here. I think I'm ready to go. We'll get the high sign over the radio and then we'll take off. You're good to go. Got it. 
felt quick there at the finish. I do like that finish. Car didn't die. Also good. I definitely hit a cone. So it's a plus one for sure. As long as it's fast enough, it won't really matter. It was a 48.3, which is about on par with what everybody else was running in the last heat and the smaller cars. Plus one. Plus one. One cone. Plus one. No? Okay. Nobody's going to answer. Really? You got one? Oh, oh no no! That was a question. No, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't asking for one. I, I was just seeing if I did. Did he hit a cone? I mean, yeah. New MR hit one. All right, I did hit one. Uh, you are good to go. Away we go again. Number two. Be clean. Just be clean. It's weird having a realization that maybe you didn't torque your wheels and then suddenly remember you did. And everything's gonna be just fine. Yeah, somewhere in there, I, I thought, did I torque my wheels? I don't think I torqued my wheels. And I was like, oh no, no, I remember. I torqued my wheels. Doesn't mean they can't fall off, because they can still fall off. And it was faster, it was a 47 8. And no cones. It's a good one. Ooh, they got the 360 out back of that one too. That'll be cool to watch. I've never seen him actually post those, though. I'll have to ask him for that. If he doesn't want to put it on YouTube, I will. You know? You gotta put cool shit on YouTube. People will watch it. Mother, may I? I think you're good. Ah. Almost. <laughs> it was slow, but it was fun. Probably slower, but you know what? I don't really care. I am still 20 seconds up, so I got no worries about getting the fastest time of the day today. I'm not. I'm not here for that. I'm here to keep the car running. Eh. Eh. Whatever. It is what it is. You know. Mm -hmm. I, I want to. <laughs> I can't get it. I have to take the dumb belts off. I'll do this all again when I lose the water next time. At least the cam lock's way easier. You hear that, Race Quip? I love your stuff. Send me more. Hey, Donald, once you're at the line, it's your turn. You're good. Oh, I was going to drink some of that water. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, all my cars are dudes. At 47 6. Oh, yeah, but I keep it going. Consistency is what I'm going for. I'm not trying. I put it in first back there. Terrible idea. Oh, it did not oh, like that at all. No. Tires just spun. I'm so. doing no first gear at all. Yeah, not at all. Yeah. All right. Proceeding. What? Niles? Is it Niles' turn? Sorry. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. Uh, the old battery died on the camera in the middle of the run there, but I did a 47, oh, maybe flat, almost? 47.3, I don't know. Good enough, didn't hit combs. That's what we wanted. And, you know, the car is fun right now. It's it's rotating really early. I need to maybe back it off a little bit if I can. That's the that's the trick, is, is trying to make it not rotate quite as early. And you are good to go. Away I go.
all the throttle there at the end. That's a 47.5. You know, not really, not really picking up a bunch of time, not really slowing down, just keeping it good and consistent, you know? Okay. Make it a good one. Fire it off. Seven runs, and we're out. And I got my 46.9, which is real good. If I'm hitting that cone, I would be really happy with my time. Oof. Back here at the shop with the MR2. Victorious. First place, modified rear-wheel drive. Over 17 grueling runs. And for the car, 27 grueling runs. Miles did not compete today, but... Uh, he probably could have had a chance to beat me because I'm sure he would have gone faster. If the car doesn't seem to be leaking coolant anymore, maybe the radiator cap was the whole problem. Maybe just not getting it too hot uh, was what solved it. In any case, it still wants to die when it comes off of a run. So I, the motor is probably getting ready to be done. Or maybe it's as simple as a vacuum leak. It's one of the two. Is it a vacuum leak? Is the motor done? doesn't need to rebuild <laughs> it could be it could go either way but you know what uh it's a great weekend i took first place uh not a whole lot of competition but still a win is a win and it's 100 points for the season we move forward in the season uh probably in first place right now i think after three events i'm pretty sure that's all I'm gonna get back on the fx16 next uh and work on changing out the suspension to the max speeding rod suspension that we got uh, given to us by max speeding rods. So stay tuned for that. We'll see how that, how well that does. Maybe do a little torture testing with it at the next rally cross event. We might uh, take it not instead, maybe in addition to this. I don't know. You never know. And then of course, behind that door there is the ever present Dale. Uh, and he's getting real close to running. So I was going to work on him a little bit today. Maybe not right now. I think I'm gonna go rest for a little while. Take it easy. We'll try to get a video out on that real soon. Tune in, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Uh, putting out a lot of shorts right now. Funny stuff from previous videos, maybe new stuff that I'm making, whatever comes to mind, whatever might hit that algorithm. Uh, thanks for watching. And you know, for you, it's, it's middle of summer. There's events going on with the SECA all around you. You gotta check out motorsportsreg.org. Check out your local SECA region websites. Find an event and get out there and find your own apex because it is better late than never. See you next time.